Hi, I'm Liz. I'm a certified technician and today I'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step process I would use for diagnosing this error. If you find this video in any way helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more great content. Okay, so step one as a technician, I would hit that power button and immediately start tapping on F2 on my Dell. And this is the first step in the troubleshooting. Okay, so this will bring me into BIOS or the setup options. And I'm going to click on integrated devices. And on this page, I'm going to set you set the date and time both are important in this scenario i know it says time in the error but it's really really important to set both so make sure the month is set correctly you can use the arrow keys and then you can use the same for the minute and the year and then moving over to the time you want to make sure that the hours and minutes are set correctly the seconds are less important um, and obviously you know it, do it doesn't have to be perfect but as close as possible and then you also have the am and pm button make sure those are set correctly because otherwise it will cause this error um, this is the number one cause for these these not being properly set to some sort of power loss can reset them or an update and things like that then you're going to hit apply changes and then after this, I'm going to show you what to do next in the troubleshooting process. So hang tight for just a minute in case this, uh, this error does not resolve. Okay, so moving on the troubleshooting process, if you find after step one, the problem um, comes back either immediately or after a while, then the next thing to try would be step two. How is your battery health? right? Because when we have battery problems, it can cause things to reset. So if your battery is weak or not holding a charge at all, like for example, you unplug it, the computer dies, uh, that can be, that can cause date or time errors, either one. And then you would need to replace it and then try step one again. So it's a good thing you learned step one because you might keep using it until we fix this problem. And then you would set it again and see if the error clears and doesn't come back. If it comes back again, then the final step I would use as a technician in the troubleshooting process would be to replace the CMOS battery on the motherboard, which is a coin size battery. This battery is responsible for a lot of important things, but one of the things it's responsible for is saving and retaining information like the date and time in BIOS, right? So once again, you could be having a problem with it resetting due, due to that battery being faulty, but don't worry, in the description down below, we have a video on how to do that, how to replace the CMOS battery. But anyway, as a technician, that is the steps I would take in the troubleshooting process to clear this error. But from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.